The Chiefs and Taylor Swift take a top spot in our Sunday six this week because they made a statement. However big a statement it might have been, the Chiefs did not make history. The Miami Dolphins made history. You talk about a statement win. I, I don't think that does it justice. The Miami Dolphins defeat the Denver Broncos 70 to 20 in their home opener at Hard Rock Stadium. Yes, 70, 70 points. That's it's not a typo. You're not mishearing things. It's not a basketball game. 70 points, 10 touchdowns. We were joking here in the studio on Sunday afternoon. Miami Dolphins kicker had a 10 point day in fantasy football without kicking a field goal. Silly, silly stuff. So many video game stats. The Dolphins came three points away from the NFL record for points scored, which has stood since 1940, set by the Chicago Bears. They absolutely could have tied it. They were in, in easy field goal range in the final minute of the game. Mike, Mike McDaniel decides to kneel this thing out, says after the game that that felt like chasing points. Maybe that's bad karma for the Dolphins. I appreciate that. They didn't have anything else to prove in this game. 726 yards of offense, the second highest total in league history. They throw for 376 yards, and somehow that seems less impressive than the 350 rushing yards. There's so many quirky stats. I said this a few weeks ago. When you win a game like this, the PR staff is working overtime to account for all of the weird stats. Tua Tungavailoa threw more touchdowns, four, than incompletions, three, in this game. I think it's it's too early to be worried about the MVP race, but Tua Tungavailoa, absolutely the early front runner for NFL MVP. The Dolphins are the only undefeated team in the AFC. Tua slinging the rock around, Offense looks incredible. Even even the backup got in on it. Mike White throws a touchdown. And then you have a, a, a coming out party for your rookie running back, Devon A-Chain. It's so fun to see a plan come together. If you follow the NFL draft, Devon A-Chain, the rookie running back out of Texas A&M, one of the fastest players in college football last year. And the minute... The Dolphins drafted him in the third round in the spring. You said, that makes sense. Mike McDaniel wants another speed demon to add to his roster full of track stars as if he didn't have enough. A-Chain carries the ball 18 times for 200 yards and two touchdowns. That's not enough. Four receptions for 30 and another couple touchdowns. Raheem Mostert had a huge day. Raheem Mostert with 82 yards and three touchdowns, and that's like an afterthought. Ho-hum, good for you. Speaking of afterthoughts, Tyreek Hill, nine catches for 157 and a touchdown. Feels totally normal. Didn't even stop to think about the fact that Tua and Tyreek were doing this without Jalen Waddle sat out of this game. Didn't even think about it until the second or third quarter when I saw Waddle in street clothes on the sideline. I was like, oh, right. They're doing all of this without that guy. And no, oh, by the way, the defense had a wonderful day. I mean, you're not going to get your shine on a day when the offense scores 70 points and basically sets every modern record for offense. But they forced three turnovers against Russell Wilson and the Broncos. And they don't allow a second half point until this, <laughs> until the last nine minutes of the game when the score was 63 to 13. So, yeah, if you want to let up. Let the Broncos get to a 20 spot when you've already scored 63. I guess that's your prerogative. This this can't be what Sean Payton envisioned when he decided to get back into coaching. Even, even knowing that the Broncos had a rough season last year and that this would take some time, this is easily this is easily the worst loss of his head coaching tenure. It's worse by 17 points and 200 yards than a 47 to 14 loss that he suffered with the New Orleans Saints back in 2015 to Washington. Just, I mean, you go watch the post game interviews with Peyton as well as his players. Very contentious. I don't blame them. This is this is a level of embarrassment that you just don't see at the NFL level on a regular basis. Not since 1940. Clearly, fortunately for them. It's one loss counts the same in the standings as if they had lost by one, but man, this is the type of performance that, that can shake an organization, shake a team. They're going to need to lean on Peyton's expertise, Peyton's resume to, to get through this thing. Cause this is, this is the type of game I think that can beat you multiple times if you're not careful.
And oh, by the way, the Broncos fall to 0-3. We know the stats about how hard it is to get to the playoffs as an 0-3 team. You're sharing a division with Kansas City. L.A. Chargers got off the schneid on Sunday afternoon. Tough sledding for the Broncos. Historic for the Miami Dolphins. Looking like the hottest team in the NFL right now.